Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into exposure bracketing. What is exposure bracketing? Simply put, is when you set your camera to take multiple images, multiple shots of the same scene at different exposure levels. You might wonder when you would use exposure bracketing. The answer is when you're shooting a scene with very high contrast, where the difference between the bright area and dark area is very extreme. In other words, when your scene's dynamic range is much higher, much greater than the dynamic range of the sensor of your camera. The human's eye dynamic range may vary, but generally it is considered to be between 10 to 14. When the human's eye pupil opens and closes to adjust to different level of light, the dynamic range of human's eye goes over 24 f-stops or t-stops. By using exposure bracketing, photographers can compensate for the significant difference of dynamic range between human eye and cameras. Now let me take you to Nikon Z6 menu and show you how to set up for the exposure bracketing. First thing to do is put the camera in aperture priority, then go to photo shooting menu. Image area is going to be full frame, image quality raw, ISO sensitivity, I shoot at 200. Color space S RGB. Metering going to be a spot metering release mode make sure this is on continuous low or continuous high focus mode AF single AF area mode single point vibration reduction if you're on a tripod just turn it off if you're shooting handheld uh, I recommend you use a high shutter speed to prevent any ghosting and uh, motion blur we get to auto bracketing auto exposure bracketing turn this on and with the increment of one stop you can shoot between three to nine but if you change it to two stops you can shoot three and five the same applies to three stops So let's set this to one stop at five frames and we are ready to shoot. Let's go and take some pictures and after that we're gonna take those frames into Lightroom 
and I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, make a single frame with very high dynamic range. We are in Lightroom. I've taken five frames over here, as you see. The one, if I expose for the uh, interior for the hallway, the view outside this window is going to be washed out. Even if you try to slide the highlights all the way, you're not getting any details. Same thing. Same thing is true with this one. Go all the way and you see that you're losing details. So what we do right now is to take these five frames, go to photo, go to photo merge and HDR. check this auto align in case there was a movement or something or shake in your camera so automatically it's gonna align your frames and click on merge As you see, this frame has been added down here and it says HDR and it's a DNG file. So what we do right now, you can go to the basic panel you can do the necessary adjustments. So that's the way to use exposure bracketing to increase the dynamic range of your camera. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If so, just go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, I'm planning to post a video every week on Monday. So just subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Take good care of yourself. Keep shooting. I'll see you later. Cheers.